Gold by David Shannon. Stories with stays. <laughs> Maximilian Midas was a peculiar little boy. He didn't much like chocolate, and he didn't play with toys. The first word that he uttered when he was one year old wasn't mama, wasn't papa. What Maxie said was gold. His parents tried to raise him right. They said, "Be kind, not cruel." But Max's brain got stuck on gold when they taught the golden rule. His mother hugged him every night. His father read him stories. A hug's a hug. Maxie shrugged. And all those books are boring. He didn't like to go to school. He cheated on his tests and counted up his golden stars. There were fifty, more or less. But Maximilian had the touch for raking in the dough. He didn't think of bad or good. He thought of bought and sold. He started selling lemonade out on the parking strip. And on the hottest, driest days, he sold it by the sip. He made enough to buy a house. It was money quite well spent. But when his parents moved inside, he charged them monthly rent. When Sadie opened up a stand to help some needy kids, he dropped a mouse in her lemonade, then ran away and hid. Max took over Sadie's stand, but he had bigger plans. And soon his lemonade was sold in stores throughout the land. His lemonade made millions, more than twenty banks could hold. He never gave a cent away. He spent it all on gold. Statues, clocks, and coins in bowls. If it was made of gold, he simply couldn't get enough. That was how he rolled. Maxi piled up his gold until it made a mountain. On top, he built a castle with a fancy golden fountain. His furniture and walls were gold. To Max, it looked like heaven. A lot of people said, "Not bad for a kid who's only seven." As time went by, Max stayed inside and all alone got older. His outlook didn't change a bit. In fact, it just got golder. Gold is what I love the most. Max would often cry. I love it more than teddy bears or mother's apple pie. I wish the world was made of gold and gold was everywhere. I'd like to eat and drink it and breathe it in like air. That got Max to thinking. As he was making breakfast, he came up with an idea that was positively reckless. Max grabbed a bag of gold dust and, oh, for goodness sakes, he spooned it up like sugar and dumped it on his flakes. Maximilian took a bite. It made his tummy tingle, but when he chewed, it didn't crunch. Instead, it sort of jingled. He suddenly felt funny, like his blood was getting cold. He walked up to the window. Then Max turned into gold. Oh no! Max was like a statue. He couldn't move his arms. He couldn't even walk or talk, or set off the alarms. Max began to panic. He thought, "How can this be? No one ever comes up here. Who's going to rescue me?" At the bottom of the mountain, he saw his mom and dad. They were talking to their neighbors, and he suddenly felt sad. He thought about the many hugs he traded for his gold, and all the bedtime stories that never would be told. Max tried in vain to close his eyes and make it go away, but he was made of solid gold and had to watch all day. There was one thing deep inside him that hadn't turned to gold—a little tear that Max had saved since he was one year old. And now that he was facing a future cold and bleak, 
that little tear was free at last and rolling down his cheek. And as it spread across his face, what happened next was weird. Max changed back to normal, and his mountain disappeared. Every bit of gold was gone, and Max was in midair. He landed with a thud and saw his parents standing there. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, he cried. My gold was just a lie. His mother hugged him twice and said, I'm going to bake a pie. His father hugged him too and said, That reminds me of a story. And Maxie hung on every word. So what if it was boring? They asked the neighbors over and Max made lemonade. He gave them each a tall, cool glass to sip on in the shade. My gold is gone, Max told the crowd. But please don't think I'm poor. I've made millions from my lemonade, and I'll make millions more. He apologized to Sadie, the plucky neighbor girl. Will you help me use my millions to make a better world? Then Maximilian Midas thought as he finished off his slice. Gold can never make you feel as good as being nice. Like, share, and subscribe.